The other day I was driving home and I was listening to my local public radio station, Colorado Public Radio, KCFR, represent. And in the evenings they air the BBC World Service and on my ride I heard a very interesting story. To the best of my recollection, it went like this. Hello, Governor. Welcome to the BBC. (laughs) No, the actual story was that a recent study had been conducted and it found that chimpanzees don't care about music. Whether it was Bieber, Adele, Mozart, or Beethoven coming through the speakers, the chimpanzees couldn't care less. This story piqued my attention, so I filed it away in the old brain. The next day, while I was having my coffee, I started Googling on it. I found a few articles from the Daily Mail and some other UK papers, just sort of rehashing what I'd heard on the radio. And it's not like the Daily Mail is peer-reviewed or anything, so I had a hell of a time tracking down the actual study. Fortunately, the Daily Mail quoted the author of the paper, a lady named Dr. Emma Watson from the University of York in, you guessed it, jolly old England. I used that piece of information to track down the article, and then I tracked her down as well. I fired off an email to her telling her how fascinating I found her research, and that I was going to use it as the backbone of a piece of digital media I was going to create that advocated support for the arts in my community. She responded, thanking me for my interest in her research and pointing me in the direction of additional resources that could help me in my endeavor. I thought that was really cool, but her response sort of changed the direction I was going to go in with this video. You see, I was going to elucidate certain points of the study and use it to make the argument that appreciation of music is an essential part of our humanity. It's an essential part of what separates us from the animals, and even our closest evolutionary relatives don't share our appreciation of music. And while that's true, It's just one of many things that makes us human. There's an old adage in political science called Miles Law, which says, where you stand depends on where you sit. Basically, this means that your viewpoint will fundamentally spring from your position. It reminds me of this time I was at a work conference and this engineer told me, engineers rule the world. So I think I would be making the same mistake as this drunken engineer at the conference that I went to if I played up the importance of music and how it makes us truly human. So many things make us human. The fact that this research was even conducted is uniquely human. The fact that I was able to communicate with its author over the internet is uniquely human. The fact that we can listen to and appreciate music is uniquely human. Hell, the fact that we can buy stuff is uniquely human. So, I am going to communicate with you over the internet to conduct some research. I am trying to determine how many of the people watching this video are uniquely human. And you can prove your humanity to me by buying my band's music. I'll link to it in the description. The choice is yours. But if you choose not to purchase my music, you're no better than a damn dirty ape. This has been my Sunday Soapbox. Thanks for watching, everybody.